We love it when our viewers get passionate about our segments. On Monday morning, we discuss pole dancing lessons for three-year-olds as a form of sport and fitness. Well, our chat room exploded with responses from you at home. There were some who considered pole dancing to be blatantly sexual, but overwhelmingly you saw it as a great way for all ages to build your core, flexibility and strength. Many likened pole dancing to gymnastics or yoga or acrobatics, even the world-famous Cirque du Soleil. So... It included uh, tributes for Australia's Got Talent semi-finalist, Matty Shields. So we decided to find out more about this fitness revolution. We're joined now by pole dance and pole fitness instructor, Melissa Bexton, and the current men's international pole dance champion, Duncan West. Good morning to you both. Hi. I'm going to start with you, Melissa. Um, you teach pole dancing to, to girls as young as 14. That's correct. So, so how does that work? At Pole Perfect Dance Studio, we have an array of classes. So you can do a pole fitness class or a pure pole class, that we like to call it, where it involves basically just working on the pole, working on your strength and your core strength. But when it comes to kids, they have to get parental permission. Definitely. We have a girl um, who's 14, and her mother came along to have a look and see what we did there and if it was suitable. Mm -hmm. um, she had a dance background in jazz and tap and ballet and wanted to add more to her repertoire. Okay. Now, Melissa, uh, classes focus on core strength and conditioning, which your partner, Rachel, here is going to demonstrate for us. Where does the sexual element come in? Because this wouldn't be a new argument that you're hearing from us today. You would, you would hear that all of the time. Yes, you would. Um, at Whoa. Pole, as I said, at Pole Perfect, uh, we also we focus on pole moves. We do have dance classes, and we like to base it on dance. So we have a lot of jazz moves as well. Um, our girls do a course of ten weeks that involves learning a choreographed routine um, that has pole moves and also dance as well. It's uh, amazing. All right, so you're saying that the sexual element comes in more from the dance moves than from the pole itself? Or? It would depend on what sort of dance moves you were putting in there. We like to keep it really jazzy and yeah. really fun. Okay. Yeah, it looks right. jazzy and it looks fun. <laughs> it Duncan, fun. let's bring you in here. Tell us about the uh, pole dance world championships. Uh, what level do you train it to stay on, on, on top of that game? How, how often are you on this? <laughs> I don't actually train pole dancing itself an awful lot. I tend right. to train in the circus element, which is known as Chinese pole. And okay. I'll do that maybe three times a week. Is as this well you as here? Acro, hand balancing oh. and a few other things. Yeah, this is me oh. at the Asia Pacific Championships okay. uh, last year. Whoa! Okay. How'd you do that? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, well, show us here what you'd recommend for some starter moves, maybe for youngsters wanting to get involved. Yep. Yep. Um, so generally we're just going to start with something basic like a climb and it's always about safety so we teach cat climb fairly early on. This is Chinese? This is, is yes. Um, normally our pole doesn't spin. Right. Then we'd have a few rest positions like this. Yeah. Uh, this is a very sort of classic one. Yeah. You can also lock your hips and this is where you catch a lot of the drops and somersaults. See I get it that this, this is position. fitness and sport because I'm not finding this sexual at all. <laughs> And I'm really glad about that. Yeah. I'm a little offended, but all right. <laughs> um, That's and amazing. As your body weight goes further out, generally speaking, things get a little bit harder. This is all about the core, too. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Melissa, you and Rachel, you've entered, um, there's like pairs yes. competition. So could you show us how the, a pairs competition may sure. work? Because you third place last year in, in your the, first professional competition. That's right. Okay. So this is more advanced stuff that you're about to do here as a couple, right? You can really see, Kylie, the uh, fitness level involved here. Oh, that's extreme. <laughs> I feel like we're commentating at the Olympics, A Sandy. little bit. A little bit. <laughs> that looks like an 8. An 8.2? What would you give that? I'd give that a lot. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. That's great. Thank you. So we can see, like, that, uh, that is a valid argument that this is, a, you know, an extreme sport that requires amazing strength and coordination. Okay, but the, the argument from the UK was children as young as four doing it. Now, do you offer classes for four-year-olds? We don't offer classes for four-year-olds. We haven't actually had anybody come in and ask for a four-year-old to do pole dancing. Yeah. Um, but I think if they were wanting uh, children's classes, then I... We could always mm. offer a child. And would you tailor make that though so that it oh, wasn't definitely. that there? You wouldn't okay, be putting the point. four year olds yep. in with adults. Yeah. Right. yeah. Melissa, Rachel, and Duncan, thank you very much for your time thank and you. your. Uh, showing us your stuff today. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, you're welcome. And we've just heard from Tom Saunders at the Weather Channel. Turns out hell has frozen over. <laughs> <laughs> that was Larry quoting an earlier comment of mine that I, I could not do that, or unless hell froze over. <laughs>